Hey guys, thank you for uh, coming back to the channel and thank you uh, and welcome to another video. Um, we are waiting patiently um, for the um, Sweetie Pie's M for Hire uh, case to uh, present us with uh, additional uh, sentencing information as well as ensuring that the uh, individuals who are now all convicted in connection with this trial uh, go to sentencing. But there was a question that I had and I wanted to present this question to you for your feedback. Um, one of the things that I wanted to ask you guys in reference to the Griggs family, which is Andre's mom and uh, siblings, do you feel that they should be filing a wrongful death suit? Now, a lot of information has been put out there, and now there's a lot of speculation that uh, Andre's grandmother was not only very insensitive to him, but she was very um, neglectful when it came to uh, listening to his concerns. Um, you know, her text messages have been made public, and in those text messages, uh, he mentioned how concerned he was uh, as far as his um, his safety, and uh, she basically did not respond uh, in accordance with the text messages that we have. Uh, not only that, um, Andre's siblings said that in a phone conversation that they had, that his mother, um, um, I mean his grandmother, excuse me, his grandmother. Uh, was very upset with him because he had not made his way back to St. Louis to take the um, lie detector test. Now, the thing that I don't understand is why was the lie detector test put off for so long? Why didn't they have him take it in Texas? I mean, you know, a situation like this to where um, her house was uh, burglarized and the dollar amount was uh, upwards uh, of a million dollars. I know with money and uh, goods that were taken from her house, they said that the uh, value of the robbery ex uh, exceeded 500000 and some said it was as high as a million dollars. Why would the legal system wait so long? Why wouldn't they go down there to discuss with him? Why wouldn't they maybe, uh, you know, talk to some of the local uh, legal uh, minds or legal uh individuals where he is and have them on their behalf maybe do the test for him. That's done all the time. It is common practice. So the fact of how this situation was handled to me was very odd. Um, but like I said, he was very scared. He made that very, very known. With that being the case, why was uh, more not done to try to protect him? And when it came to his grandmother, you know, I know she was probably upset. For some reason, she felt that he was involved and she was very angry. Maybe because, you know, he's lived with me, he's been here all this time, and then to think that this could happen. Now, the why of it, I don't know. I don't know why she was um, so eager to... Um, maybe consider this, especially since he didn't show any um, signs of being, you know, I guess for lack of a better way to put it, about that life. <laughs> you know, so uh, I'm not really sure why she felt the way that she felt. I don't know if it's just because her son told her that, but I mean, if you want to look at people, a lot of times when you look at what you think could happen, the first thing you do is look at what has happened. So when you look at him, his life, and the things that he's done, he's never put himself in a position to look uh, as if, um, you know, this was a plausible situation but at any rate um do you guys think that the griggs family should file a wrongful death lawsuit and with a wrongful death lawsuit what do you guys think about 
um, who should be uh, sued. Should Tim be sued? Should the grandmother be sued? I mean, um, what do you guys think about that? I've often thought about that. They have very, they've made it very um, understandable that they are not after money. I mean, her son is gone and she just wants someone to pay for that. True enough. However, a lot of times when people are involved in a case um, and they're involved in a case, but you cannot adjudicate them accordingly, um, sometimes this is the only way to seek any type of um, payback uh, for it. And it's not payback in a vengeful way, but just making the responsible parties accept some type of responsibility. So I would like to know what you guys think. Should a wrongful death lawsuit be um, filed? And who do you feel should be um, should be uh, sued? Let me know below. I will definitely be waiting to get you guys um, input on this. Me personally, um, because no one was ever officially uh, um, adjudicated of his actual uh, slaying, I think that I probably would want to do it. Who's, I'm not necessarily saying I would want the money for me. I may even put it in some kind of uh, fund to fund some kind of, um, you know, um, nonprofit on his behalf or something like that. But I think that anything that I could do to get justice for my child, I would not be against doing. And so that's my opinion um, and my personal um, thoughts. So let me know what you guys think. I am going to be eager to hear from you guys below. So um, I'm going to end this video and I will be waiting to uh, talk about this in the comment section guys see you guys in the next video